How to Calculate Data Center TCO. Courtesy of SB Home Run's Guide to Lead Generation Best Practices for Co location Data Centers. While a data center provides business critical support, to an enterprise, cost is still a factor. Of course, you don't want to skimp on quality and reliability, but budgets still need to be respected if a business is to be profitable overall. Data center TCO, or total cost of ownership, can include a plethora of items with a mix of initial or fixed costs and ongoing operational charges. For many organizations, a spreadsheet model is the way to tackle the issue. So what should go into such a TCO spreadsheet? Are you sure you've included everything? It's not always easy to be certain that your model of your total cost of ownership of a data center contains all the necessary information. When the bills come in afterwards, you can adjust and refine your model, but it's better to avoid surprises in the first place. Some IT equipment vendors offer Microsoft Excel models to show how new technology can reduce overall costs. These can help as a big part of the solution, but may focus on specific aspects rather than telling the whole story. By comparison, a more general list of cost drivers includes cooling equipment, electricity, engineering and installation, power equipment, project management, racks, service, space, and system monitoring. These costs may also vary individually according to whether you are constructing your own data center or buying one that has already been built. However, they do not include the costs of IT compute, meaning your systems, servers, data storage solutions, and staff to look after them. What really makes data center TCO go up or down? Spreadsheets are good tools for trying out different assumptions and scenarios. However, because spreadsheet myopia is a common ailment, some major factors are sometimes ignored. Oversizing, for example, can significantly inflate a budget. Because of the dire consequences of having too little capacity, businesses often err on the side of caution and start off by spending considerably more than they need to. Time is money too. The time you and your colleagues spend on figuring out all the stuff required to correctly design, dimension, and run data center facilities is already a cost. It can be accounted for in your calculations, but other important time-related factors may be more difficult to model. For example, the delay in building a data center can have a significant impact on an enterprise as a whole if current IT capacity is already stretched. Do you really want to do this? Understanding data center TCO, even at a basic level, can be helpful because it allows you to compare with other solutions such as data center co-location. Whether or not you then choose to dive into the detail of a do-it-yourself solution will depend on your particular business requirements. On the other hand, a co-location service provider has already done the costing and spreadsheet analysis in order to present a customer with a pricing schedule that should make sense for both of them. Which spreadsheet have you used to evaluate TCO for your own data center needs? Share your experience with us in the comments section for this article. And if you frequently discuss the TCO of your data center services as you close sales with new clients and grow your data center's revenue, be sure to download Lead Generation Best Practices for Co-Location Data Centers. You can download a copy of this guide while it's still available at datacenterleadgen.com. Thanks so much for stopping by and tuning in today to learn all about how to calculate data center TCO.